Hi and welcome back to Dental Advisor and today we're going to do a simple test to check out whether your curing light does its job or not. Now in order to do that what you need to do is get yourself a glass, ordinary glass, fill about a third of coke or Pepsi just for the color and then fill the rest up with ordinary water and then you get a color something like this and that's your first step now having made your mixture your next step would be to test your curing light what are you exactly testing these for you're testing for how strong this beam is and how collimated this beam is collimation means how straight is your beam is there any diffraction of the light because remember curing is a very very important part of restorative dentistry and we generally take this for granted now if your curing light is not giving you a straight enough beam then it means that the effective area of curing may not be the entire surface of the head of your curing light it may just mean that you're getting a straight line maybe somewhere in the center of this light so it's important to just test out your curing light to see whether the light that's coming out is it coming out straight or collimated or is it divergent divergent lights means then you'll have to cure for much longer than your average 20 to 40 seconds so this is how you're going to do this after making that coke and water mixture one third coke the rest of it water take your curing light and aim the tip against the glass and fire and then have a look at what it looks like from the top I also have another curing light with me my seven-year-old Velo from Ultradent and um, you can test one curing light against another to see which one of them performs better so it's the same thing place it against the side of the glass and press it on and then have a look at what you see from the top all right so here's what test number one looks like all right now we come to the second test with the ultradent velo Now the Ultradent Velo has three modes and just for the heck of it, let's see what happens to the light intensity with each mode. Now we've switched the modes into a more powerful mode, it's a 4 second cure mode and let's see how this works. And I finally switched it to the third mode which is supposed to give you an output of about 3000 milliwatts per centimeter square for about three seconds. Let's see how this fares. So there you have it. Another little short snippet from the dental advisor. How to test your curing light with some coke and water. Unfortunately, I added some water to this. Otherwise, I would have had a sip. So. Until next time, see you and bye from the Dental Advisor.